I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Vulca and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week. My beautiful Leo, so if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do because it's how we keep up with y'all see the comments, right? Also, Leo, if you do enjoy this reading, I would really appreciate it if you were to take the extra step and give this video a like and subscribe as well, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, and I was super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way, Leo. <clears throat> So, and the final thing I want to say uh, before we get into your weekly general reading, Leo, is that this reading here, my weekly general readings, Leo, are just here to give you some perspective, some food for thought, right? I don't believe uh, readings are here to make a decision in your life. I believe that they're just here to give you something to think about, something to consider, um, because it's like when you think about it, it's your life to live, not these tarot cards, not me. Right? So it's not fair for me to tell you what you should do in a situation because you know your situation best, right? So all that said, my beautiful Leo, let's just get into your reading. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see your objective card for this week, Leo. Your objective card, objective card, Leo, is the card um, that the energy that you're going to be exuding this week through the events in your life, right? Your everyday events. And beautifully enough, Leo, you guys got the Two of Cups. So definitely this is going to be a really good week, Leo, for you to start connecting with people. Um, you could see this as a way of like potentially through you connecting and just being open to connections this week, Leo, and allowing the deepening of certain connections. I'm sorry about that. Allowing certain deepening of connections, Leo. Um, it could open up some things for you as well. But also, the Two of Cups is about bringing things back into balance, emotional balance as well, Leo. We're going to pull some clarifiers, though, just to see a little bit more detail of what this is talking about. Get a more of an idea of what Spirit's trying to let you know about. So, continuing on, we have for your clarifiers for your Two of Cups... Leo, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So this is talking about bringing things into uh, balance in terms of, uh, it seems to be like partnerships and connections. Uh, Knight of Swords comes in with the Four of Swords, where it's talking about communication and healing. Uh, bringing some closure into your life in some capacity, whether this is involving a person Leo, right? Maybe you're involving a person in this Two of Cups. That's who this cu other cup is. Because keep in mind, Leo, cups can represent blessings and they also can represent people. So maybe this cup, you're bringing things into balance with a certain situation, bringing closure to a certain situation, bringing things into balance, maybe your work life um, into balance. Or this could be about uh, communicating with the person, getting a better perspective of what has been going on with them. Um, getting some closure with them. With this Three of Pentacles, though, it does lean, I kind of lean this towards personally, Leo, as someone, as like someone that you think highly of, some situation that you think highly of, because Three of Pentacles is like the collaborative card, seeing things on a, pe seeing something on a pedestal, right? Um, so definitely this week is about um, closure. That's really seemingly like the main theme here. For you, Leo, is just overall just closure. So let's continue on with this reading now. Let's look into your Five of Cups now, Leo. Now, with the Five of Cups, this is a card, Leo, this is a card of kind of like see, frustration with the situation. There's something that I'm hearing. It's just like frustration with the situation, not really sure what to do. Um, about something being like, uh, like, you know, something like happened and you're kind of like wishing for like, you wish you're like currently wishing that it's like, oh, I wish this turned out better. Why did it have to end in this way? Or why did things have to like turn in such a event? So the clarifiers that we have for your five of cups, Leo, is the queen of cups, the sun card, and then the three of pentacles is following you, Leo. So in this dynamic, you know, how we break this down is such a situation where 
Leo, I just kind of want to tell you, like, it seems like, I just get this impression, Leo, of where, I don't know, it's almost like you feel defeated in a situation where I, it kind of gets, I get this sense of where it's just like, you're disappointed in a situation and you're like washing your hands, like you're currently washing your hands clean of it. And you're just like, ugh, like I hate that it turned out this way, whatever. Um, but it seems to be that there's something deeper here. Like the story's not quite finished yet. Like even though you're washing your hands, even probably right now, Leo, you're like listening to me and you're just like, yeah, Valka, like girl, like you're, brought, you're bringing this up, but honey, I'm not like, this is not, I'm done with it. You're done with, because I know with you, Leos, especially like when you're done with something, you just turn your back and you keep on like, you don't, it's like they don't even exist. This situation never even happened, right, Leo? So I know like in the situation, and it's like three pentacles following you, Leo. Um, so it's definitely speaking of like some type of, um, partnership, some type of, um, connection this way, closing out this first row for you, Leo, for your five of cups is the 10 of swords. So yeah, definitely 10, tens usually represents closures of cycles. Um, usually they are, do, um, they do rather. Uh, so Leo, you definitely feel checked out from the situation. Maybe you think that the situation is done and maybe, yeah, I don't know. It feels like you just feel, feel so checked out from the situation. You feel like the situation is done for Nothing you do matter. You feel as if nothing you do matters in the situation anymore. Like it's just going to be a waste of time, a waste of energy. Does that make sense, Leo? And so I don't feel like it's the case though, Leo, just because of this Three of Pentacles following you. This is the third time that you've had this Three of Pentacles card following you, Leo. Like, come on now. Like, how many more times can we get this card for you? Um, yeah, let's deep dive into this. Which which deck do we want to use, Leo? We use this deck now. If we get Three of Pentacles again for this, Leo, I swear. So let's go. Let's go on. What's like the spirits talking about? How this situation's not done? Like you think this chapter is not done? She's like, okay. Well, if it's not done yet, then what's the tea? Like what's going on? Hmm? No. All right. So we get four clarifiers for this. I'm using the Necronomicon deck, uh, Leo. So let me get things organized. All right. So Leo, for your the clarifiers for your three of pentacles is the nine of discs right here. We have the ten of wands. We have the magician card. And then we have the seven of swords. <sighs> All right. So how are we going to break this down for you, Leo? This is, in terms of this dynamic, this situation that you feel so checked out from with the three of discs, I feel like, hmm. I feel like in this sense right now, this message more so comes in, Leo, as a sense of you are just putting distance between you and the situation right now. I don't feel as if like this is like a sense of just closure where you're not like this is just done for after this chapter. You're never reconnecting with this again. I feel like you're going to be coming back to this, Leo. And I feel like that's more so what this message is coming into us is where it's just like, you know, especially if it's in terms of a partnership in some type of way, Leo, it's coming off as a, it's coming off as the dynamic of where it's just like, you guys are taking a break. You're putting some distance, but don't think this is just like the end. I feel like you guys are, are going to be like collaborating again. I do feel like you guys are going to be working together again at some point, but some type of baggage needs to be addressed. Some type of, like it feels like both sides, if there is like a two-party situation, um, it does feel as if, especially with that two cups, yeah, um, for your objective, which would make sense. This is all making, y'all are just experiencing me like solving this puzzle. <laughs> Um, yeah, I do feel like this chapter is just, you're putting a, you're putting a pin on this. That's what this is. View the situation this week, Leo, whatever it is that you're washing your hands clean of, just put a pin on it after, like, before you, uh, shut the door. Cause you are coming back to this. So don't feel like this is completely over because it's not. So let's get a closing card for this row for your three of pentacles. <clears throat>
All right. So this makes sense, Leo, and it's definitely going to make sense to you as well. You get the Temperance card closing off this Three of Pentacles dynamic. So yeah, the Temperance card is patience, divine timing. Um, there's definitely more in store. Spirit has definitely something more in planned when it comes to some type of situation. You're just putting a pin on it right now. So keep things into balance. Don't allow this situation to eat up at you. But at the same time, Leo, don't completely close yourself off from the situation from the sense of where it's just like, like, put, put some closure to it now, put closure to it now, Leo. But once it presents itself into your life again, or has a chance to, or once it starts, don't just be resistant to it. Don't just like completely shut it out. Feel it out a little bit at first, because it seems like spirit has like some type of intention behind this connection in some type of capacity. So just keep that in mind, Leo. So now let's get into your Eight of Wands. What's going on here, Leo? Now the Eight of Wands, I see this as like a coming of power. This is kind of a situation of um, letting go of this. It's a boat. It's actually a card of where it's like you're letting go of situations, but at the same time, you're grabbing up a, a different wands, right? So it's just like letting go of wands and then picking up a different one again. So it's like you have options, essentially. I see the Eight of Wands as kind of like a... Uh, seven of cups in the sense where it's just like you have options but like you can at always at any point pick up that torch at any time and rekindle that torch does that make sense so let's get some clarifiers on this you're getting four cards for this clarifier leo not that it matters just more so it's my own personal observation <laughs> so leo the clarifiers that we have for your eight of wands we have the emperor card I feel like this is a fit, very fitting energy for you. Uh, the, what is this? Seven of Wands. We have the King of Swords. And then we have the, uh, oh, we have the Empress card. I, <laughs> Leo, you can tell, like, I don't look at these cards until I, <laughs> like, I'm showing them to y'all. Um, I feel like, I'm, again, I'm gonna address, like, because it's, like, the objective being, like, the Two of Cups situation. I, again, I feel like this is a sense of where it's just like reminding you that it's just like the story's not done yet. There's something definitely deeper here, especially if there's a if, if this is in regards to a person, uh, Leo. Like, come on now. Like, you guys, there's this like the story's not done. Seven of Wands here, King of Swords. Um, I feel like this is just a situation where misunderstanding is coming up for me. Like, I am hearing misunderstanding. Um, Dare I just say, Leo, there's just like, is the sense of like one another needs to miss each other if it is about another person or just you need to put distance between you and the situation just so you can handle like your own summit of wands, your own dramas of things, your own all in that nature. I feel like you just need to handle yours and they need to handle theirs. Or if it's not a situation, like, you know what I mean, Leo. So let's close off this row now. Uh, just, yeah, again, this is seemingly like you're not... you're. <laughs> You're making the right choices, Leo. Just make sure you're making the choice, like, just keep it, it's more so this reading's coming in as like a, consider this perspective, consider this, keep this in mind while you put a closure to this, is like, hey, like you're getting kind of like a sneak peek of like, what the whole plan is, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, <laughs> trying to make sense. And then yeah, Two of Cups comes in closing card for your Eight of Wands. So really just such an emphasis, uh, <laughs> Leo and like, Two different energies, two different parties, two, like, can we talk about two cups with the emperor and the empress in the same pile? Like, you know, come on now, can we, like, if you weren't a believer then, can I hope, like, you know, hit, hit that like button now, honey? <laughs> all right, I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm not. But, all right, let's get into your six of wands now, Leo. I didn't really go into the two of cups as a closing card because I kind of feel like it's kind of self-explanatory, isn't it, Leo? Right? So let's get some clarifiers on the Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is the card of victory, is the card of public recognition. It's the card of success, Leo. So this is kind of like the turning of events. So this is like the result. All right, four cards again. <clears throat> All right, let's get these cards situated. So the clarifiers we have for your Six of Wands, Leo, is the Two of... Two of Cups, <laughs> third time for Two of Cups, third time for Three of Pentacles, uh, Six of Cups, the Queen of Discs, as well as the Hermit card. It's 
So Leo, I... This does seem to be pointing towards, like... Because when you think about this, the Hermit card, self-explanatory, right? You get, like... Essentially, the... We'll call this, like, the path towards your success. I don't know why I felt the need to put quotations there, Leo. Um, the path towards your success is about hermiting right now. This is, like, the energy you want to exude, really, and not the... You know, this is the right way to go about self-reflecting, kind of closing yourself off, not allowing too much in your space right now. Because I say this as well because you have the Queen of Discs as well. And Queen of Discs is usually just being connected with your guide, um, listening to your guide, and just being very by yourself and just in tune with the spiritual world, but not really with the physical world. Where you're just in that sense, right? And so Six of Cups and the Two of Cups comes in in, the, in this dynamic where it's like, Leo, like the Six of Cups comes in in the sense of where it's like a past energy. So I feel like this is, again, referencing the situation that you're putting a closure to now or just recently happened. Um, and then Two of Cups talks about like the situation you are going to be coming back to it for sure. <laughs> like, I don't know, like Spirit really has been emphasizing, Leo, this insistence on you acknowledging this other half, this other energy. Page of Cups comes in as well as the closure of this energy. Page of Cups comes in as either like the deepening of a connection or a new connection, right? Like this entire time, it's just speaking of the situation, Leo. Like if we were to wrap up this message and this reading as a whole, it's essentially saying, Leo, like right now, putting closure to things right now, you're just putting things off right now. You're putting, you're just putting a pin on it. Like I said before, Leo, and put that pin in it, but keep in mind that at a later point, you're going to be addressing the situation again, or like the situation, this person is going to be coming back into your life. This is not the end. Like, <laughs> right. This is like, you think of this is like the last chapter, or maybe this more so just comes in as a comfort message for some of you Leos that are having a struggle with like trying to figure out why the situation ended the way that it did or why things came to a certain result. Things came to that result at this point right now, Leo, just because this was needed for you to just, y'all just like, you just need to address yours. They just need to address them. Right. Leo. And then once you guys address your baggage, then it'll be good. So, uh, your crystal of the week, Leo, is the clear quartz. Clear quartz is a very universal, very popular, very easy crystal to access. So I pulled this card. This would be a very good uh, crystal for you to connect with with this week. You, I mean, it is a, just a very universal card, <laughs> crystal. So um, really insert any kind of uh, benefit for any type of crystal. That's kind of what a clear quartz can provide, I feel. So, um, yeah. That's the reading that I have for you, my beautiful Leos. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Uh, and also, Leo, let me know in the cards, be cards below. Let me know in the comments below, Leo, which cards resonated with you. And then I do all the weekly zodiac signs and more than just Leo, right? So if you have a friend that is into tarot cards or might be into tarot messages, be sure to give my videos to them as well. So maybe they can find a message that resonates with them. Until next time, Leo, I love you so much.